Hey, what's up? This video is going to be an introduction and a tutorial on how to get started with PUBG Mobile in the most effective way possible and get quick results in improving your skills in the game. So let's get started. The perfect place to start is going to be the training map to explain what this game is, what it's all about. So we're going to go here, I'm going to press on training and OK. All right, there we go. We're at the cheer park, but we're not at the training ground yet. The way to get to the training grounds is go here with the AK and press training grounds. There we go. Now we're at the training grounds. We have a map and we got a bunch of equipment. So let's get uh, acquainted with the equipment we use in PUBG Mobile. Over here we have vests, we got backpacks, basically the backpack gives you capacity points and you can uh, carry more stuff. The bigger the backpack the more you can carry, this one has 250 for example. Now it's important to know the vest is also increasing your capacity. These items are basically to heal you, but they also have another purpose. If you use it, you notice once it's done the bar at the bottom of the screen just went orange and as you can see on the right side of the bar there is a guy running which means right now I'm boosted I can run a bit faster like an adrenaline shot so there we go that's the weapons we have we have a, a different uh, a several different calibers which we use we've got the 9 millimeter this one we've got the 45 we got the shotgun shells, 12, ga 12 gauge ammo. We got a 5.56 ammo, which is probably the most pop popularly used ammo in the game. And we got 7.62, which is just as popular basically, mm, maybe just a bit less. And it's a very good ammo to use in a more advanced uh, part of the game once you get more skill and you can control recoil, because recoil is a big part. Uh, in developing your skills, the recoil control. For example, if we take a, let's say, AK, AKM, and we will take a M4, M416 for comparison. Let's grab some ammo. We're going to we're gonna feel the difference in recoil okay this pen I just picked up by the way it uh, kind of just rests on your butt and if somebody shoots at your pen it will protect you from bullets no matter what size the caliber is I also forgot the last size of caliber uh, 300 magnum only for this AWM sniper rifle bolt action it's uh, the most powerful bullets in the game basically they do a lot of damage and uh, let's see what kind of attachments we can pick up here the AK is a good gun to have a con compensator on AR compensator same thing goes for the M4 so we're gonna have a compensator on both of them to optimize performance the compensator is gonna help with the recoil control and the uh, spray we're gonna take the best extension uh, quick draw mag for both guns okay we're also gonna take butt stock for the M4 and we're gonna take a grip a good grip in, in general to use is the vertical grip it's very good for mo most guns but it's also important to know not all guns will accept all uh, attachments and grips and not all guns work the best with the vertical foregrip because all grips have different purposes so it's a good idea to experiment with them especially in the training room for example the thumb grip not only reduces the uh, uh, recoil uh, but it does slightly reduce recoil it's not as good as the vertical for example 
but it has a perk it reduces scope opening time which uh, when we aim down sights with the scope it's going to be faster it's a very good uh, uh, perk okay so there's different kinds of grips they have different uh, uh, purposes to be mm, basically to put it in the most simple way the thumb grip is a very very balanced grip uh, like it's balanced all around it also has a perk so it's not bad the laser grip is a uh, for hip fire spread so when you fire without scoping in like this it's going to help you a lot okay uh, half grip very good for short bursts of a uh, uh, automatic fire it works well with the m4 it works well with the m762 anything that is a uh, heavy uh, like a AR automatic rifle. Uh, the light grip is good only for it says it increases recoil because it does. I mean, so it's not a good thing. Recovery and stability. So, what is it good for then? It's good for single tap. When you fire like this, sorry, like this, okay, like when you tap it, it's the probably the best grip for the job. Okay, but it just really messes up all the other criteria. So, unless you are planning to use only single fire, don't use this grip. Angle grip, angled foregrip, uh, I don't recommend it at all. It's, uh, it's just not so good all around and it reduces only a little uh, uh, like aiming time. So, if you want to reduce your aiming time, you better use the thumb grip. Okay, that's all. Let's see what we have left. We gotta pick up some scopes and I'm gonna show you the difference in recoil. I'll take a candid sight, I'm gonna take another one of those, another one of the candid sights. Okay. Now, what I like to do and what I recommend is using the 6x scope and you can see you can play with it. And reduce it down to three. We're gonna do the same thing with the AK. Okay, and we're gonna start the demonstration. The AK uses different ammo than the M4. Like we said, it's a 7.62 round. Therefore, it's a uh, bigger and more powerful. Has more blowback. We're gonna just fire a burst. Okay, starting here. And the uh, I'm not gonna try to control the recoil. We're just gonna see how far it goes. There we go. Okay, that was like 14 bullets. We got up until here, this point. Okay, so it's like pretty significant recoil if you don't control it. Now we're gonna use the M4. Okay, there we go, like even two bullets more. We got uh, 24 bullets left. We can see on the right top side screen. And the recoil is only here. We used two bullets more, but the recoil is here instead of there. So M4 is a very good weapon to first of all start with. Second of all, most pros actually use that weapon. So it's uh, very good to be accurate with this weapon and spray to long distances. Another thing that is important to know is that the position you're firing from, if you crouch or if you lay down, makes a big difference on most of the guns, not all of them, uh, in help reducing basically uh, the recoil and increasing your uh, stability. Okay, that was <laughs> a pretty bad spray actually. But uh, yeah, it's much easier to fire to long distances on full auto with if you crouch or if you lay down. Okay, so also we have this button over here, main side, main side, which is only usable when you have this candid sight. It's very, very comfortable to switch scopes this way, but we can also switch scopes over here. Okay, so another thing I want to demonstrate is the difference between uh, the speed of the ammo and the bullet drop, also the damage. We're not going to be able to see the difference in damage, but 7.62 does more damage than the 5.56. Five, 
and the 556 it travels faster than the 762 so if we're gonna increase the scope for example and use them for like a marksman rifle for a second we're gonna aim for the furthest target right there and we're gonna see the bullet drop okay 300 meters okay that one was on point and we're gonna do the same with the 762 and show you the difference in the bullet drop this one was on point So there we go, we can see the difference in the bullet drop. The 7.62 is heavier, it's a heavier bullet, does more damage, therefore it drops more. I hope you enjoyed this uh, introduction to PUBG Mobile and I see you in the next video with the full tutorial.